I am a soldier on the battlefield, yet in the air, the voice of my commander. Jesus, if you call my name. I, I don't, it's not like I don't like the song. I just feel like it, it's not true. Hi guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I make my breastfeeding cookies. You guys, oh my days, I'm so sad today. Ask me why. The prices of things are going up. <laughs> I was going to order some skincare products yesterday. Guys, my bill came to about 2,900 CDs. Why? Things are really like expensive and it's just like, it's, mm. is it worse thinning? Show worse to put in it. You want to suck again? Person they talk about financial problems, you want to suck breast. Mm. Alright, so hi guys. I just literally shot like a quick Instagram video. I just dropped JM Jordan to sleep. Let me start this timer. So he slept by 3 p.m. on the dot. And Huckleberry told me he was gonna sleep by 3 p.m., which is crazy. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is witchcraft. Guys, I did my hair two days ago, so this is like a fresh wash and go. This is how the freshest it's gonna ever get, honestly. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. The details of the wash and go but yeah, it's very defined zero volume but yeah it's really defined because I am covered in breast milk I'm gonna have to wear perfume so the perfume I'm wearing today is my good old chocolate makes me happy from unique luxury it's already past half of the perfume so I'm very sad because I don't have money. I can't buy it again. I'm broke at this point. So, oh, this perfume is like jazz. It's like, like every time I smell it, I'm just like, damn. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. It smells so good. I am not exaggerating, guys. I have smelled a lot of perfumes in my life. And when I tell you this stuff smells unique. Alright, see you guys on the flip side. I need to go and figure out my life. I need to edit some videos for YouTube because they have been sitting pretty on my laptop. So this glare is not good. But I really want to wear these glasses because I bought it with my money. So I have to wear it. That's good enough reason to wear the glasses because I bought it. So I have to wear it. It's currently like 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet because... Yeah, so I'm about to make bacon and eggs using this bacon. This is day three here. My church members came today. So women in my church came today. They came to see the baby and they also brought gifts and they brought money. Love that. They're so nice. So sweet. I feel like, oh my goodness, that's like really nice because me, because of my introverted nature, I barely talk to anybody in the church. Like I don't, I only have like two friends that I talk to in the church. It's so sweet that they all came to visit me and visit the baby. They brought like a hamper of like gifts and they gave me money. I don't know, there's something about like when you show people love that they feel like they don't deserve. Automatically, it just makes you want to love back. And I think that ju just like explains the Bible. Because the Bible says we love because he first loved us. When you know what Christ did for you on the cross, without you even knowing him, without you even loving him, without you even accepting him, without you even doing anything, like you were still in your sin, you were still in your negligence, you were still in your selfish, like selfish nature, 
selfish so selfish selfish in nature <laughs> but yeah christ still loved you and when you know how much love he showed you whilst you were yet a sinner it just makes you so grateful i feel like the christian faith is a faith of gratitude like you know you are not doing a lot your faithfulness is lacking you do not like that's why this song there's this particular song that whenever people sing it i kind of glitch a little bit that jesus if you call my name i will answer a million times i am a soldier on the battlefield yet into hear the voice of my commander jesus if you call my name i i don't it's not like i don't like the song i just feel like it it's not true like if we're being honest as christians we are not faithful we are only relying on the faithfulness of god to keep us to stare us to um like we are like this one day in one day out today you are feeling good you are feeling energetic you're grateful tomorrow there's something putting you down tomorrow you're not reading your bible as much tomorrow there's something else that's taking your time tomorrow it's your children that's taking your time it's your husband it's your job it's sickness something else is taking your time something else is in that place of god i feel like our faithfulness is very it's wavering like it's not so i feel like when you say jesus if you call my name i want to say a million times i'm like will you <laughs> will you so I, it's not like i don't like the song i just feel like it's not entirely true so i'm just always very grateful for the love of god and what even made me start talking about this is because like they showed me so much love by coming here buying me gifts like doing contributions to buy gifts for me and other like women that just gave birth and it just makes me feel like i want to do for them as well like they've done so much for me today i just also want to do something for somebody else in church like do you get what i'm saying like it just that was all that dawned on me like leads me to the gospel because you've been loved so much now you just want to show jesus like how much you love him even though you are kind of faulty but it's just that gratitude of like god loves me so much and all i want to do is like love him back all right welcome to my ted talk ain't she beautiful oh i love the smell of bacon why do i end up like this waiting by the phone like you call me again i've been down low since and I don't know how long it's been Days pass by like it's hours Sweet memories turning sour and Yeah, I said that I If they tell me you can't drink cold water again or when he cut the rope what i'm gonna take my supplements now i got this from a supermarket here in ghana i don't even know the company i'm just trusting them with my life right now lastly i take blood builder it's from the same multivitamin black men brand hey blood okay. so i take blood builder these brands are quite expensive but yeah if i'm not taking this blood builder i'm taking this one this one is also like for um your hemoglobin your red blood cells your blood anemia all those things so i was just there and then i got my shame package i literally literally just collected it from the guy downstairs so i got this from aramex they shipped it and um i didn't pay anything via customs hello Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I've been the product from Tribe. Okay. I've been eyeing this trouser. It's just a me thing. It's I bought it in XL. But you just know these Chinese girls, their waists are very tiny. So if it's in XL, it's probably like a medium in like normal US range. So so it's like a short, but it's like a like a really nice. Oh, this looks big this is the wig i got it's synthetic wig so i've always wanted to try synthetic wigs because i feel like i'm not really a wig person like i don't wear wigs but i want to switch things up from time to time so but i don't want to invest in like expensive like human hair wigs because the truth is i'm not even wearing these wigs half the time when i like 
get wigs usually like thankfully my friend sells wigs so she usually would just like give it to me like for free because if i was spending money on these things i'd be wasting my money but most times she would dash me so when she dashes me i'll just say thank you but i don't wear it like that the curls <laughs> okay i'm i'm not even mad I'm not, I'm not even, whoa, look at the bangs. Do y'all see the bangs? I really want to go and pack my hair right now and wear this wig because the way this wig is looking, bro, I'm back. <laughs> I went to pack my hair. It's not perfectly tight, so obviously if your hair is not very like flat, it's going to make the wig look somehow, so... I always like to put like a bonnet on my head because my natural hair is more important than any wig so I want to protect my hair underneath anything I'm wearing. Do you know how much I would spend if I wanted to get a human hair that looks like this? Let me call my mom on video call because she is my number one hype queen. She will hype the life out of me. I'm calling my sister. She has, she's, it's ringing. Oh, why is she not picking now? Let me call Janet. Janet, Janet. Fola, please don't disappoint me. Fola, don't disappoint me. Who am I gonna call now, my father? Why is nobody picking? Is something happening today? Blocking everybody. Nobody should ever reach me again in this life and the next. All right, I can feel it tangling a lot already, but what? What? Oh, I love it. Look at it. It's really nice. It's very corporate looking, but I can definitely like style it down and style it to be like more like casual, like cute and stuff. So lovely. Can you guys see it? Nobody should call me. Nobody should come. Nobody should come. Nobody should come. Nobody should call me. Please. Game over. Oh, it's Fola. I forgive you. I forgive you. Do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me? I do do. What hair is this? I'm Guy. Synthetic. I swear. Sheen, $30. It's mad. It looks mad. Guy. I know it's not going to feel nice by tomorrow, but who cares, you know? I bought two, but then, like, is that, that one is, like, another one. I've not tried that one yet, but I, I can't even remove the hair from my head. Like, I can't. Thanks, man. You know, I've called everybody. Nobody picked my call. I wanted to show everybody, but nobody picked my call. All right, thank you. That's all I wanted to show you. What do you think, my love? That's all I wanted to show you. Thanks. It's very sweet. Please tell me name. I will. I will. I will. Let me take a screenshot. Post for me. Oh, I didn't show you guys the jewelry again. The necklace. Oh, it's so long. I love it. I love how long it is. So this is what the trouser looks like. All right, so let's try one of the tops. So nice. So nice. Wait, my baby's crying. One second. Hey. Hi. So far, the hair has started tangling on me like a little bit. There's a little bit of resistance. But yeah, you can fake it till you make it, bro. Should I try on the other shorts first? It's very casual. It's way more casual than I anticipated, but I like it. I'm not very used to wearing shorts outside my house, but yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a learning curve. Feels funny. It feels funny, I'm not gonna lie. I feel very, very hesitant to say that I like it. So let's wear the next one. So that one is like a, kind of like a tan color, this one. I'm very like hesitant to wear it with these shorts because I feel like this shorts not gonna do it justice, but let's just do it. Is it giving pastor's wife? Is it giving angel? Is it giving I'm a minister of God? I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't really know yet, but I don't, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I feel like it's just, maybe if I do like a full face of makeup, maybe it will look better. Maybe. But right now, I can't tell. For this wig, y'all, mm -mm. this one feels more synthetic than the other wig, okay? Right off the bat. And it's, it's way heavier than the other way. It's a lot thicker. Like, it, I can't feel it on my head. Yeah. Come on, let me quickly give my baby breasts. But I'm just going to style it. Maybe it's because I haven't styled it yet. Maybe that's why I'm not really feeling this particular wig. And maybe because this one does not have like bangs. Like, it's, it's not, the way they cut the wig is like, it doesn't frame my face. So it just like falls. But the other way kind of like frames my face. So I just have to probably style it better. So today I want to go out and get some things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In love with the dark, active here, I'm free like a dog. In love with the bass, in love with the sob, in love with the energy I get from above. Hot in the club, in love with the dark, active here, I'm free like a dog. In love with the bass, in love with the sob, in love with the energy I get from above. Wheel it, take it, take it back. Fire burning on the trap. Get down, get down, make it clap. Like one, two bars, we deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with that. Come around, come around, family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. Know this year, come around, come around. Come around, come around, family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. Know this year, come around, come around. I was on the Instagram and then I saw that somebody was like, oh, um, Yemole and um, Tayo are back together. I'm like, first, who is Yemole? Guys, when I tell people that I'm not like a social media person like that, they really think I'm joking. Like, they think I'm just like, I'm just playing around. Guys, I don't know anybody. And then I went to the comments and everybody was like, oh my gosh, like, um, I'm happy for them, but baby face card is this. Baby is this. I'm like, who is baby? <laughs> like, I claim to be a content creator on social media. And half the content creators and people on there, I don't know who they are. Where the rain in no shine, where the sun in no bright. Hi guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I make my breastfeeding cookies. You guys have asked me a lot for the recipe and I have kind of changed and switched it up a bit because I want it sweeter. So I'll show you guys how I do it. There are no like proportions or sizes now. Just go with the flow, please. Go with the flow. I use the name of God to beg you. It's not a cooking channel. So <laughs> let's start. So these are medjool dates, I think. They are not very hard as you can see. They are very, very like soft and chewy. So now I'm just going to remove the seed and then put the the dates in the blender. I feel like this one for breastfeeding mom. So if you don't mind adding weight or you don't mind adding sugar, you can just use sugar instead of dates. It's not like necessary that you use. Dates. Yeah, I just prefer dates because yeah, I don't want to add weights. I'm coming. So yeah, that's it. We're done. So I'm going to add granules to the paste because I want to add granules. I really like the taste of granules. If you don't like the taste of granules, then you don't have to add it. For me, I want to add granules to the paste. So I'm just going to take my granules and yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so freaking good. So this is what our paste looks like. It's fine if your blender cannot get this like smooth consistency. It doesn't matter. We just want to blend the ingredients, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the paste. It's so nice, you guys. Look 
at that. So delicious. If you can't get the rest out, you can just blend banana and pour water. And that's a smoothie right there. So here's your paste. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know if there's a name for it, but so nice. So delicious, you guys. I'm gonna sell it on the market. Alright, moving on. So now we're gonna blend our oats. So usually I don't like it like super super soft. Like not soft, smooth. Super smooth, so we're just going to blend a little bit. If you don't even blend it, it's gone. It's still okay. Check it. So let's get it, let's get it. We have wasted a lot of it. Hey, wait. Guys, don't be like me. If you have, if you have, it's see if you have. If you're going to use butter, make sure you bring your butter out of the fridge. I forgot to bring mine. So you want the butter to be soft. So let me go and bring it. You want to make sure that your banana is ripe, very ripe, almost spoiling, almost disgusting. Okay. You don't want it to be this bad. No, because that one will go to taste alcohol. You will not taste alcohol for your food. So I'm gonna use three bananas. Honestly, these things are just like winging it. The way I'm looking at it, let's say I go hard. I go hard one more banana. Alright, so next up, I'm gonna add our eggs. Next up, we're going to add our paste. And then you want to stare. So you're supposed to blend the flax seed and the oats together. Okay, please, I'm so sorry. I'm going to add my flax seeds so that it blends with the oats. So now my flax, my oats is going to blend it. But that's fine. Not to spoil. So this is the flax seed I'm using. It's from Bob Bread Mill. I heard it died recently. But yeah, this is the one I'm using. Also make sure you add your vanilla essence. Uh, so no. Let's do it small, small, make it no go true weight. I'm going to add a little bit of um, oats to it just to give it that crunchy and yeah yeah <laughs> thank you ah school good though so I'm going to keep it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so that it's a bit harder because keep in mind I'm making cookies I'm not making muffins this is way too soft for cookies so I'll keep it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so that the oats can absorb most of the water and then we'll you know get it into the oven and all that. So if you want to add chocolate chips or cookies or not cookies, chips, you can add it. But because me I'm going like sugar free, I'm not adding any chocolate chips. Alright, let's put it in the fridge. I just kind of mash it in my hands you can just like use anything you have to just like press it it's the same thing so I just put it down 